it's been funny this week on Twitter. It's the same thing that happened in 2019. Um, and, you know, a lot of people are, are kind of grumbling, uh, like interacting with me, like my, my little formula still had Alabama in the top 10 or SP plus and FPI still have Alabama in the top four, I believe. Um, like, come on, that's just, they're clearly not that good this year. Like, yeah, they're still really good. They, <laughs> Like they, they still, for all the offensive glitches, you know, they still scored 49 uh, against Tennessee. They still scored 31 with overtime help, obviously, last week. Um, their, their upside is still ridiculous. And so, yeah, quick, quick reminder, they're still quite good. Um, but in this case, it's kind of, Ole Miss is good too. They, they've, they, you could say they've been kind of trending in the wrong direction a little bit here, especially well, I was going to say, especially on offense, but really on both sides of the ball, they, they've shown a lot more glitches. Uh, but coming off a of bye week, um, it just kind of feels like 12 points is a lot to to you know take away from Alabama here. I, I think, you know, SP Plus says something more like Bama by seven or eight, I believe. Um, I, I Obviously, we know what an angry Alabama team can do, but they are glitchy and Ole Miss is still really, really, really solid. So I'm going to foolishly it feels but I, I i do feel like that line's too high i'm going to miss it it's not foolish at all because i don't <laughs> i haven't seen any indication whatsoever that this alabama team is angry they haven't they they didn't respond the way one would have anticipated after escaping against texas they didn't respond uh the way you would have expected after the loss to tennessee uh, I've said on the Monday podcast that Georgia did what Alabama used to do. When someone yeah. showed up to challenge them, uh, they hit them in the face with a shovel. Well, Alabama's lost its shovel. They've lost their edge. They, they're they a good team. You're right, man. And Bryce Young is brilliant. Yeah. I mean, he he's phenomenal. But their offensive line – gets a bunch of penalties they you know I've, it might have been your numbers bill i don't remember where i saw these they're uh, like among the bottom six or seven in the country in blown block rates uh yeah. in the running game they blow blocks period bryce keeps uh keeps them from having given up a boatload of sacks they don't catch the ball the the receiver <laughs> or the defense doesn't doesn't stop in big plays why in the world with the way they've played on the road against a good team which Ole miss is why would you lay two touchdowns with him? No way. Uh, I'll take I'll take Ole Miss, and you know I I almost expect Ole Miss to win the game because when you have when you've played for the stakes that Alabama has forever, and that's gone, man. Sometimes it is really hard to keep it together. And while Saban has hasn't had a lot of opportunities to do that at Alabama, um, you know they did famously respond after that 2010 season and put together a great performance in a bowl game. against a pretty good Michigan state team and took them apart. But there were a couple instances early in his career that when all was lost, that they, you know, the wagons didn't exactly get served. Utah. Uh, Utah. That was early in the tenure. I was talking more about LSU, um, but, and oh, Utah, okay. Oklahoma are two, uh, are two, mm -hmm. Uh, glaring examples of that happened a couple of times when he was a head coach at LSU. It's human nature. And, you know, I, I don't see it. I think if Alabama were going to respond, it already would have, I think this is who they are. They're, they're a talented team. They're capable of beating anybody, but they also have some significant flaws and they don't play with this. I'm not saying they don't play hard. This is different. They don't play with that same edge that they've always played with, particularly in big road games. I'll take Ole Miss. Well, I need to come back. And uh, I've been skeptical of Alabama on the road all year. Anyone who's listened to our picks would know that. Um, the The reason why I think Alabama has a chance to to, to lay the, what is, is it, the hobnob boot that you've been talking about, Reese, because we're in well, Georgia? Well, that's, that's only, that's only a, a Georgia Larry Munson thing. I know, boot. I know. I just like yeah. – I think Alabama can win this game authoritatively because Ole Miss is a one trick pony and Saban can stop your trick, right? Ole Miss is the nation's third best uh, rushing offense and their passing offense is pretty pedestrian. They, it, they're a little bit limited. And I feel like the teams that have threatened Alabama have, have been able to, to, to press them. We obviously stood there and watched it in Knoxville for, uh, for, for four hours that day. So I do think like human nature comes into play here. And I think Alabama responds. I think they're more talented than they played this year, quite frankly. And I think they're right now 
at a crossroads and I have a hard time seeing that program turtle. So I think they, they bow up on defense. They stop the run. They handle the environment at the, at the Grove and they, uh, and they win authoritatively. So I'm going to say roll tide roll with Bryce young, uh, you know, throwing for four bills. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN plus.